Hey guys, the objective to this video is to do an example with squares. Um, just like the previous video, we're going to be finding areas um, bx, ix, yc, bx dash, ix dash, by, iy, xc, by dash, and iy dash. So this is our problem. We have this triangle like this. As I've said in um, the introduction to this topic, when we have a shape, like a triangle, enclosed such that the uh, lines do not, do not have y-intercepts, you want to be using squares, and it makes it a lot simpler. Uh, just something else in your show as well. To do this problem, you, we're going to be using formulas like this, okay? Now, you could use this option or this option. I'm just going to go with this option um, for this video. In theory, you could do it this way as well. No reason why you couldn't. But just to quickly explain this, we're going to be doing a double integral because we're going to be taking squares dx and dy thick or dx, and d, dx by dy. Just the way this integral is formed is that the inside component is a function of x integrating for dy. The outside component is a constant integrating for dx. If you're doing it the other way, you'd have to have a function of y integrating for dx for the inside integral. And then the outer integral is the outer integral is a constant with dy. Uh, it might seem a bit like counterintuitive that you have x's and y's there for the inner integral, but it works out because when you have a function of x, that integral will go and then the final integral you'll be left with will be integrating for a function of x. You'll see in the example as we go, but we're going to be using this type of setup for this problem. So the first thing we want to do is set up the domain for this problem, and we want to see all the functions that enclose this space. So this curve will be something like y equals, so the rise and the run, h on a, x. And because there's no y-intercept, we don't have plus or minus anything there. This curve would be y equals the rise and the run, so we're going minus h down, a across, so it's going to be minus h on a x. So those are those two curves, and this is x equals a. So if we wanted to come up with a domain range for this problem, it would be x is between 0 and a, y is between h on a x minus h on a x. So that would be our domain and range for this problem. That just um, gives us a bit of um, inside into what we're going to be doing in, the, in this integral over here. So the first thing we're going to find is just the area. The area we know is the integral